In the age of indestructible reels, uh, we've all come to the conclusion at one time or another that they're not really indestructible. There's a little bit of maintenance that's required, whether you use a VS or a Z-Bass, it doesn't really matter. Um, there's a few key points within the reel that just need to be maintained. Uh, obviously, a good rinse now and again is definitely recommended. I can't say that I do it as often as I should. But one of the places that you find the most I don't even want to call it failure, it's just an annoyance, is the bushing on the main shaft. It's a rubber bushing, you can't see it, um, but sometimes it gets a little dried out. And when it does, your reel feels really tight and it's, it can really mess with you, especially if you're trying to fish slowly. If you're trying to fish a needlefish with a dry bushing, it's not going to work out for you. Um, so after talking to Craig from Van Stahl, I learned that the best way to quickly fix that problem is to use 90 weight oil. This is gear oil. And you just put a couple of drops right on the main shaft and then crank a few times and just let that lubrication go in and out of the body of the reel. And that will moisten that bushing and it will stay smooth for weeks most of the time. The second half of the ritual of, uh, you know, pseudo real maintenance is, you know, I do this probably every third to tenth trip. Again, I'm not, not the greatest about real maintenance, but I do want it to work. Um, so when I get home, when I have a little extra time or when I'm not falling face first into bed, I just pour some water on this, pour some water on all the guides of the rod, and then I just finish up with what basically is a Saltex solution. This is real guard made by Ardent, and all you do is just Spray the reel, and that's it. You don't wipe it off, you don't rinse it off, you don't do anything. This stuff will dissolve any salt and any other deposits that are on there, and then it dries and leaves a protective coating that lasts at least a few trips. It would be great if I did this every trip, and for those of you who like to have you know, perfectly shiny jewelry uh, grade reels, that's fine. Uh, I think of them more as a tool and most of the time I'm too tired to do it, but I do like I say, I try to do it at least once a week, it probably more gets done twice a month, but it makes a big difference.